about my project with the title of Design and Fabrications of DC High Voltage Low Current Power Supply Module. In this project, no transformer will be used to generate high DC voltage. Is that even possible? Yes, it's possible by just using the basic Crockroft Bottom Voltage Multiplier. In order to have a better understanding of my project, let me explain about high DC voltage generation. Conventionally, transformer is used to generate high voltage. The output produced by transformer will be in AC form signal. Therefore, it has to be connected with a rectifier consisting of diode and capacitor in this arrangement to obtain the DC output voltage. However, transformer is not the best option to use to generate high voltage due to its bulky size and it has a lot of losses associated to it such as eddy current loss, copper loss and many more. Then comes the Villard voltage doubler. It consists of combination of voltage clamper at this part and the pick holder at this part. But for my project, I'm using the Crocro Bottom Voltage Multiplier. Crocro Bottom Voltage Multiplier is formed by adding additional capacitor and diodes to the voltage doubler to form the new output norm. I will be using pulsating DC voltage as the input and during negative half cycle, current will go through D1 and charge up C1 up to the peak input voltage, let's say VP. Then during the positive half cycle, current will go through C1, D2 and charge up C2 up to the peak input voltage VP again. The charge and voltage in capacitor will remain the same since there is no discharging in it and there is no load connected to it. So the voltage in C1 VP adding up with the voltage in C2 VP will become 2 VP. The formula for the output voltage V out is equal to N multiplied with V in, where N is the number of stages. For example, if you fit in 5 volt as the input here, you will get 10 volt at the output here. Now you have the rough idea of what is Crockroft Bottom Voltage Multiplier. But the question is, how can I obtain 6 kV by using the Crockroft Bottom Voltage Multiplier? By using the conventional method, with the input of 5V to obtain 6 kV, the number of diode and capacitor combination will be 1200 stages. In this project, I will reduce the number of stages from 1200 stages to only 32 stages. I will divide the voltage multiplier into several levels. For the first level, it consists of 4 stages which is from 5V to 20V. The second level will consist of 5 stages which is from 20V to 100W. The third level will require 3 stages which is from 100W to 300W. And for the last level will require 20 stages which is from 300W to obtain 6kW. Total up all these stages will be only 32 stages. Using this technique, it is more feasible to integrate high voltage supply with other associated circuit on a single chip. When the number of stages reduced, the, the power loss associated to the circuit can be minimized. The advantages of this project is low current is used, which is as low as 1 mA, less power is lost in the circuitry and has smaller design compared to the conventional design using transformer. I have fabricated the circuit onto printed circuit board, PCB. Now I would like to do the demonstration for the voltage multi four stages of voltage multiplier on the PCB board. The input voltage applied is 5 volt and 150 kilohertz of frequency is used. So I will test the circuit to get the output voltage. The first stage you can see in the oscilloscope, the waveform is increasing. This is the output for the second stage. And for the third stage, it increased further. Fourth stage increase. So this is basically 
how the voltage multiplier works. I only demonstrated the first level of the voltage multiplier due to the limitations in lab equipment such as power supply can only provide voltage up to 30 watt peak to peak and the oscilloscope screen is too small to display the big changes at the output produced by each stages. Nevertheless, I hope you get the idea of my project.